Okay, so this guitar is a small body L5. This is a 1929, and it's a dot neck. Um, this one has been refretted, and it's missing a little binding on the guard, but it's a really cool guitar. All the old guys really love these. This was like the ultimate 16-inch guitar, and then the L5 became a 17-inch guitar after this series. I think in around 34, 35, they went to 17-inch. Very desirable little guitar. Original case, dot neck with a flower pot, ebony fingerboard, gold parts, flower pot, the Gibson up at the headstock. So this guitar is an absolute time machine. This is a 1960 Country Western. One of the cleanest ones we've ever had. This is when they first went to the adjustable bridge. And they did the Country Western and the Southern Jumbo. They were exactly the same guitar. Um, what the difference is, is the Country Western was natural. The, the uh, Southern Jumbo was sunburst. Um, the same thing with like the J45 and the J50. The J45 was sunburst, the J50 was natural. So Gibson had a few guitars that sort of, um, you know, were the same instrument, but they called them something different if they had the different finish. Mahogany sides and back, rosewood board, rosewood uh, fingerboard, rosewood bridge, uh, mahogany neck. Just this thing is hardly played with the original brown case that's beautiful. Just a time machine right here for sure. Okay, so this guitar is an ultra rare guitar. This is a Gibson J100. And the difference between this and the J200, this is the same size, but this is a mahogany sides and back. And a really cool guitar. You know, the mahogany gives it a little brighter sound. And this one has been refretted and had a neck set. But it's just a really nice guitar. It sounds terrific. Um, very rare. Um, the J200 had the fancier pick guard and the mustache bridge. This has, has its own bridge. Um, and uh, just a very cool script logo. Mahogany fingerboard. Mahogany and uh, Mahogany Bridge. Uh, actually, Rosewood Fingerboard, Rosewood Bridge. I'm sorry, that was my mistake. And Mahogany Sides and Back. Original case, nice example. Okay, so this here is, this is not an old guitar, but it was a custom guitar made by Tony Klassen. And this is inspired by the old Larson Brothers guitars. This is a really cool guitar, extra large body, rosewood sides and back, and uh, I believe it's Brazilian or Madagascar, I'm not sure. Um, I think it's Brazilian, and um, it's got a pickup in there, so it's electric, acoustic electric, but just a super large, very unusual guitar, really big bottom. This is really upgraded with fancy pearl work, beautiful tuners. Um, the uh, laminated uh, rosewood, uh, you know, style fingerboard, it's kind of a, a um, tortoiseshell looking uh, headstock veneer. Um, it's got the kind of lip like an L5 would have down there. Just a really beautiful guitar. Very unusual. Somebody who wants something that really stands out, this does it. And for a big person, this will work great. It even covers my fatness. So.